In this video, we will show you how to automate work in Google Sheets using Make.com. To demonstrate the capabilities of Make.com with Google Sheets, we will show you how to build an automation that works in the following way. When someone enters data into a Google Form, the automation adds a row with this data to our database in Google Sheets. Google Form gives you the option to export responses to Google Sheets. However, in the case of this automation, it will work in such a way that the data will be filled right away in the selected place in the previously prepared sheet. Then, we will also show you other options for automating work in Google Sheets using Make.com. OK, the first thing is that we need to have a Make.com account. If you don't have a Make.com account yet, you can use the link in the description of this video to create a free Make account. We would greatly appreciate it if you use this link as it can provide us with a commission if you later decide to upgrade to a paid plan at no additional cost to you. OK, so let's proceed to building our automation from scratch. We are inside a new scenario and since we will be collecting data from our Google Forms, for that I need to create a new module here. So click on the plus icon, type Google Forms, select this and we will be watching responses from our Google Forms. So for that, I will be choosing this module that is that is watch responses module and it triggers when a new response is received. So click on that and first you need to establish connection and next here you need to input the form ID. So for that, you need to move to your Google Forms and and copy this. This is the ID of your Google Form. Just copy it and bring it back to Form ID and paste it here. Then click on Search and it will ask for document title. So come back here and copy the document title and, and paste it. Click on OK. OK. Now this module is ready for watching response. To check if our Google Forms module is watching response, move to Client Details and enter something. Enter the name as Test2 then email as test2, then country, choose as France, then submit the form and come back to the make.com and run the scenario once. One bubble appeared on top of the Google Forms. If I click on that, if I get inside the answers, then you'll see that the name, email and the country is here. You can see the value for the name is here, that is test2. In the description of this video, you can find a link to our free Automations Essentials Kit, which contains a list of tools for building automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video. I need to map these values in a new row to this client database. This client database is located inside my Google Drive. So to add a new row in the client database, we need to add another module beside this Google Forms. So add another module and this module should be Google Sheets module. So type Google Sheets, select it. And then here you can see the very first module is add a row module. It appends a new row to the bottom of the table. So we need this thing and click on that. Here you need to link your Google account if you are not already connected. Then you have the option to choose the method and choose a drive. I am choosing my drive and from that I will be choosing the spreadsheet ID. Get inside the folder where the client database is located. And then the next thing is to select the sheet name. So it is clients. Here you can see my sheet name is clients. And here you can see all the column headings are now available like name, email, phone number, company, country and source. And now in here we need to map the elements that we want to see in our new row. So just click on that and if I hover over to the answer section then you can see this Google Forms is pulsating. That means this data is coming from Google Forms. Click beside name and then move to text answers, answers and take the value of the name and then move to email section and take the value of the email. Next country, move to country, take the text answers, answer and value source so we can write it as form. Then click on OK. Now our Google Sheets module is ready. Save this and now move to Google Forms and submit another response. Write the name as example, email as example, 
and then choose the country as USA and then submit the response move back to make.com and run the scenario once now here you can see a problem appears that means we received some information now if I move to my client database then in the 16th row you can see that the name email and the country values are added and the source is form so in this way you can add a new row in your existing database by using make automation Google Sheets add a row module by the way here we have the option to save our scenario there is also an option to activate the scenario so it will run automatically and when you click on schedule settings you can choose exactly when it will run on make.com we have a wide range of different modules that we can use with Google Sheets and I'll go through some of them quickly first we have various triggers trigger is event that when it occurs initiates our automation for example, we have the watch new rows trigger starts the automation when a new row is added to our Google Sheet. However, this trigger is not instant, meaning you have to run it on a schedule, such as every 5 minutes or once a day. Next, we have a range of different actions such as adding a row, updating a row, clearing a row, and so on. We can also add sheets, create a spreadsheet. Then we have the search rows and search rows advanced modules. We also have the list sheets module. So these are the predefined modules we have for Google Sheets on make.com. Now let's try a new module like watch new rows. So we are inside a new scenario and we have added this watch new rows module. So I'll be using this Google Sheets watch new rows module to collect data from another database that is called employees. This employees database is saved inside my Google Drive and inside this employees database you can see I don't have information so whenever I'll add any new information here this Google Sheets watch new rows module will collect the data from this database so to create a connection you just need to connect your Google account then select your Google Drive and and locate the spreadsheet ID so it is inside the make.com folder and I'm selecting this employees spreadsheet from here and it will ask for the sheet name and the sheet name is sheet one and I will leave the rest of the settings as they are now click on OK and now this Google sheet module is ready now move to employees database and here enter a new name like Adams now move to make.com and run the scenario once you can see one bubble appeared on top of the Google Sheets module. If I click on that, you can see the name appears. We have inserted the name as Adams. If you'd like to learn more about automations, you can find a link to our free Automations Essentials Kit in the description of this video. It contains a list of tools you can use to build automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video.